the curriculum. In that uh, graph, uh, it says that the curriculum should be learner-centered and therefore should focus on the optimum development of the Filipino child. So it, the child will not only be a passive learner, but uh, he is part of the learning process. The curriculum will be decongested so that it allows for the mastery of competencies and it's seamless. There is a continuum, continuum following an expanding ex, uh, spiral progression model and it's responsive because it will be flexible to uh, it allows the integration of uh, competencies based on needs and it will be enriched because it is integrative inquiry-based and constructivist. So this is the, the framework that they use when uh, uh, in the development of the K-12. So this is the model. And if you could see, there is one track that is technical vocational. So students may opt to, to go to the academic specialization, to the tech book, and like what uh, like what uh, Mon said, is sports and arts. Uh, actually, there is already some sort of uh, fine tuning, and well, uh, they added more. There are already five, but I uh, it's not yet final, so I cannot uh, just present that. Okay, next please. So the grade eleven and twelve curriculum consists of an academic curriculum called the core curriculum and specialization subjects called the career pathways. The core curriculum consists of subjects in languages, math, science, social science, and humanities. So in the case of TECFO, all these core curriculum also are adopted in the curriculum of the TECFO uh, education. So the career pathways include business, inter business, entrepreneurship, technical, vocational, humanities, engineering, math, and science. The career pathway also uh, includes humanities, which uh, covers arts, music, sports, foreign languages, vernacular languages, and journalism. So the number of hours for career pathways increases as grade level goes higher, and there will be an on-the-job training component of these career pathways, particularly the tech book program. The assumption of this uh, program is for every K-12 graduate who opted to take a career in higher education is ready to go to college. And every K-12 graduate who opted to take the career pathways on TECVO or entrepreneurship will be ready to work either as an entrepreneur or an employee. So that is the background of this K-12. Now I will uh, talk about the models uh, that we uh, are uh, using for mainstreaming the tech book in the K-12. We have two programs. Uh, I, I, fo I focus only on two programs. We have the, high, the Senior High School Modeling Program, which is being implemented uh, by 28 schools, both private and public. And we have the existing tech book program uh, implemented in 282 specialized tech book schools. Uh, they are implementing the strength and technical and vocational education program. Okay, so I'll discuss first the senior high school modeling program, which is uh, a research and development uh, process. Just to, to, to relate where the senior high school started, now can I just give you this schematic implementation plan of the K-12. So right now, right now, we, ha we have already rolled out grades uh, one, sorry, grade one, sorry, grade, I thought this one, grades one and grades seven. This is uh, 2012 to 2013. And simultaneous with this uh, implementation of grades one and seven, we have the senior high school modeling program. So we are also doing the, twin, uh, the, the senior high school modeling program uh, starting this year, 2012 to 2013. 
So this is uh, actually the schematic implementation of the K-12. So the first, first uh, batch of senior high school graduates will be in 2017, 2018. No? So those who will follow this track no, from kinder, ito, they will uh, first have the first batch of K-12 graduates in 20, 2023, 2024. So there is a smooth transition actually of the K-12. Next. So the senior high school modeling, as I have mentioned early on, is using a research and development and all good practices, learning experiences, outcomes will be vital inputs in the full implementation of the K-12 education program, which will be fully implemented in 2016. So we are generating all these uh, best practices in terms of designs, standards, mechanisms, strategies, etc. No? And, uh, and this uh, modeling process, some designs, standards, systems, methodologies will be tried out. And evaluation shall also be done to determine the effectiveness of such designs, standards, and mechanisms. So we are just like doing an action research here. You know? And all uh, inputs, all good uh, practices will be considered in uh, fine-tuning the senior high school of the K-12. So in selecting the schools to implement the program, of course we have this criteria. They have already offered the post-secondary education, TECPO in particular. They have a strong school-local industry partnership in anticipation for the resource generation, also the OJT, uh, technical assistance from the industries, among others. And they should have available functional workshop laboratories. They have qualified TECPO teachers to teach, and they have a strong support from the local government and the community. And the uh, implementation of this K-12 started in June 2012, and the target enrollees were the completers of the fourth year students for school year 2011-2012. So those who graduated last, last school year. So this is the flow chart that the, they used when they implemented the program. First, the schools analyzes the list of specializations because they have already the specializations. They they uh, uh, determine which specializations to offer in the senior high school, and then schools conduct assessment based on the market demand, teacher capacity, and availability of equipment. The schools decides which specializations to offer and prepares for the uh, prepares the curriculum as basis for the preparation of the curriculum and then students decide uh, based on the assessment which specialization to pursue and then students undertake career guidance uh, where which pathways they go and the challenges that they may encounter and then students uh, oh I'm sorry para balik yung flow so, students undertake assessment first, then they uh, undertake guidance counseling, and then students decide which specializations to pursue, and then schools inform the parents about the program. So, uh, here they had the orientation for the parents, advocacy, and uh, so on and so forth. And then students enrolled in the specializations offered, and the schools implement the program. So, this is the flow that they use when they implemented the senior high school modeling. Next, please. So these are the requirements. If uh, you are into, into the senior high school modeling, we cannot uh, just offer the senior high school modeling with zero. So we need some requirements. And one is uh, important, very important uh, factor here is the linkages and partnerships or uh, business sector and this is uh, actually to uh, facilitate the provision of facilities 
through co-sharing and other resources. Also, it ensures the provision of apprenticeship or the on-the-job to students.